Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and I know this video is not gun related, but every once in a while I like to review some type of survival item, and that's because I think survival is such an important topic. I really think that everybody should know at least the basics. How to start a fire, how to purify water, how to make a shelter and build a signal. These are all things that a simple elementary school kid could learn and retain for the rest of his life, but most of us don't know these things. So. Over the past few years, I've been reviewing different items that will help you out. It'll help you purify water and start a fire. But the one thing that I've never reviewed is something that is purely signal related, purely rescue related. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Bright Strike Bright Rescue. This is an LED, so a lighted signaling system, and this is going to help you get found. Now, as you take a look at the package, you can see we have two items in here. We have a neoprene pouch and we have our orange signaling device. Now, the orange signaling device is rolled up, as you can see it right now, but when you unroll it, this thing is extremely long. It is meant to be seen. It is 10 feet long by five inches wide, and it's in that international, nice, bright orange color that is not going to fade on you. It also has a lanyard with a hook on it, so this thing could be used for several different things. You could take it, you could lash it, string it across a couple trees, if you want somebody to be able to find you, maybe you're in a heavy wooded area and uh, it's really hard to see down to ground level. Well, if you can find some type of open area and string this thing across, you have 10 feet to be able to do that. And that's going to be, you know, something that's going to be viewable from the sky. It also has uh, six different APALs on it. These are APAL airs. What they are are little lighted LED systems. And I've actually done a review of APALs in the past that are viewable from up to two miles from, from the ground. So if somebody's searching from you, uh, for you from the ground, these are going to be uh, viewable from up to two miles away. And if somebody's searching for, for you from the air, these are viewable from three miles away. So this is something that's going to help people find you. It's going to help you see you. It's nice, bright, and orange. And if they have maybe some type of searchlight, there is a bright, reflective surface behind the APAL that I can tell you right now is extremely bright. If I hit this with a flashlight, you're going to see that the reflection that you get from the APALs, even if it was to just you know kind of overpower the LED, is going to be something that's going to help you out quite a bit. Now, people are going to say, what about these, you know, these little things? They run on batteries. Yeah, they run on batteries, but they have a 200 hour runtime. So if you need to use the light, you turn them on at nighttime, you turn them on at dusk, you turn them on when, when you need them, you can run these for 200 hours and they have three different types of modes. They have a steady mode, a steady amber blink, and amber is again the color, international color of rescue. So somebody's going to be looking for that. They'll see the amber lights. They're going to know that you need rescue. And you can go from a fast strobe, a slow strobe, and then a steady amber light. Okay, so you have that. You also have reflective tapes. These reflective tapes are gonna, you know, just kind of take that light and revert it back to somebody who might be searching for you again. And you have glow in the dark strips. These glow in the dark strips are great because they are uh, marine glow in the dark strips that last. 20 hours so if for some reason you have this out in the daylight and the sun starts going down obviously it takes a couple hours to, for the sun to set these are still going to last you all through the night because again they glow for 20 hours so they are going to be visible now the great thing about this as well is not only is it good for land use it's also good for sea use if you watch some of my flashlight videos you know that i have a boat and in the background right there that boat is going to have one of these in it because this floats it has uh, uh, this it's like a foam type material it's almost like uh, those pool noodles material at the end of each side so you can actually run this out if you're maybe in a raft or you need rescue maybe you're just who knows maybe you've just made some type of flotation device out of your pants and you're wrapping it around your neck uh, you can float this out from you and it'll float out 10, 10 feet from your body or 10 feet from your boat and it will float upright so instead of just part of it floating up in the water, the entire thing is going to float lengthwise, allowing you to be found much easier. So again, this is a pure signal, a pure rescue style device. And that's one thing that, again, I haven't really, you know, reviewed. Now, obviously, there's other things that you can use. You want to learn how to start a fire. Smoke is visible. Smoke is visible from just about anywhere. But if you're in the middle of the ocean, you know, or in the middle of the lake even, and your, your boat broke down or your boat just sank, and you want people to be able to find you, then something like this is going to be, you know, e even better because obviously you can't start a fire. It's much harder to make a signal 
uh, when you're on the on the water. You know, you can even find an open piece of land when you're on land and take a bunch of rocks or sticks and make a help me sign so that people would know at least the general area in which you are. But on the water, that's something that you're not going to be able to do. So having something like this is, is going to help. Now, it's funny because uh, you know, I make this video and, and while my thoughts and my prayers go out to the people in Texas, those people are, are suffering, suffering, suffering. I've noticed on the news that they're trying different ways to let people know that, hey, there's somebody in this house that needs to be rescued. Uh, sort of like Katrina. You know, I was watching Katrina and it, it just broke my heart to see these people that were, were that needed help. They were using spray paint and different things to let people know, rescuers know that there's people in there that need help. Well, I can't think of a better thing that this could be used for in a situation like that. You could hang this from your front door. You could go up onto the roof if you're stuck up on the roof and lay this down the side of the roof, turn the lights on and let people know that you need help. It's just a, a perfect little rescue device that is 10 feet long that'll fit into a small case like this. I'm gonna put one in my motorcycles when I'm out in the middle of the desert. I'm gonna put one in the boat and uh, one's gonna stay on me in my bug out bag, in my get home bag, because sometimes instead of survival, you might just wanna be found and you wanna be found as fast as possible and this is gonna help you do it. So anyway, definitely check them out. I'll put a link in the description box. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, have a great day.